Hey, what's going on everybody? And welcome to another episode of Coffee Break. Today we're with a uh, pizza owner, her and her husband, or fiance, they have this pizza shop. And today we wanna get a little bit more in depth as to you know what the pizza shop, how they started it up, and uh, what plans they have for the future. So stay tuned and keep watching. Coffee break. So we're back at it with Jasmine Carmona. Um, I'm excited to, you know, start this coffee break up with you guys. Thank you for having our coffee. Oh, absolutely. Um, it's great. It really is great. Oh, that's a good thing. That's what we wanted, right? So it's yeah. like we wanted to make sure that we're not only serving just the coffee bag, but that the quality of the coffee tastes good. Right, um, you can really taste the coffee, so that's amazing. So good, man. So how are you? How are good. you? Good. So exciting, right? Yeah. It's a busy season, but yeah. we opened the restaurant about a month ago, and um, we're here. It took a couple months for renovations. So yeah. before this place was a pizza shop already, Pasquale Pizza has been here since 1970. Okay. So we're talking 52 years. That's a long time. Um, Chris and I inherited it from our family. Chris's cousin is actually Pasquale. Okay. And he was like 17, fresh off the boat from from Italy wow. and came to build a life So this here. is authentic. This is authentic and that's how we want to keep it, right? Because Pasquale's not here, but he left it to us and yeah. now we're trying to keep it the same, same recipe, kind of same feel. Um, we're selling slices though, so that's like See, a New that's York that's a thing. good, yeah, I like that. That's, that's the Bronx in me. I yep. love having a slice, so I really wanted to incorporate that. Yep. Um, and we really wanted to give it like a facelift because it was, it's been in business for so many years. Um, that we wanted to like just you know give it like a facelift yeah. you know so we did a lot of renovations and it finally looks the way we wanted to and now we're so excited that we're at this point nice. um, we did a lot of renovations over the summer yep. and awesome. so we opened the doors and it's just been like a great experience so yeah. far and you never you've never had like another business going right you never like mm. like this is your first like venture that you're actually you know Pursuing. Well, you're inheriting it, you yeah. inherited it, and then now this is something that you actually took upon. Like, how's it been, you know, something so big like this, especially if the pizza's been good for, for so many years, he's been in business for so many years. Was there a fear factor in there? Like, wow, we, we gotta make sure we stay, you know, we, we stay true to that legacy that's 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 been here. Like, is yeah, there some like, type of a fear factor there? Absolutely. I feel like the fear is kind of still there too, but I feel like that's what keeps us motivated, you know? And I think that once, like, we decided to say yes to this, that, um, you know, me and Chris love food. I've loved food since I was a kid. I think my first words were like, a comer in Spanish. So, let's eat. Uh, let's eat, you know? So, um, if for me and Chris, it was like a no brainer. We wanted to um, continue, you know, bringing good pizza. We love eating out. So, and even when I was in college, I had a food blog and I would interview, I would do something like this with the business owners. And it's just so, it's so crazy. Life is just full circle, you know? And I never thought that I would be at this point. But, you know, just the opportunity to, you know, have your own restaurant is major, I feel like. And also, it's a big learning curve, especially yeah. if you haven't done this. Yep. You know, it's one thing to, like, love food, but it's a whole other thing to, like, run a restaurant. You know, so we're really, it's been a learning curve, but we've been taking it day by day. And just, you know, what's really kept us um, just excited, just the people. The people of the Milford community, mm -hmm. it's just been so wonderful, oh, so that's so welcoming. Good. That's so good. So consistent, they are like coming in, they like are, you know, raving about like how Pasquale's Pizza was their favorite place to come to with their families. Yep. So we really want to keep that. We want to keep building new um, connections and new, um, building new relationships, but we want to keep the relationships that were already established here. Right, right, right. You know? so, yeah, you don't want to reinvent the wheel. You, and if anything, you want to like modernize it a little bit with adding your own flair of, of, of stuff, right? Like right. you guys have, you can have a specific like setup and then you can add your own, like Ooh. what makes what makes you guys, you know what I'm saying? Like a little bit different. Right. Because it's like, it's almost yeah, you gotta like, add your touch. Yeah, you're you're uh, you're adding exactly your mm -hmm. little touch. So is is there is there something specifically that you're probably like for long term maybe like you have some ideas that that you're gonna probably like 
change certain things or you just want to keep it so far the way it was and then see where you're where you're at and then go from there when it comes to like changes or adding some stuff like to it yeah right now we're keeping like the the italian dish right okay. the chicken parm the grinders the um penne alla vodka just like things that people are used to yep. but we also want to bring like um right now it's our it's a pizza shop but we want to make it more of like a sit down family style like restaurant we want to add a couple more things right everybody goes to restaurants now and they want to do the instagram picture and they want to have the selfie with the you know so we i talked to one of my um friends that's helping us and she had she suggested that we have like this neon light that says say cheese okay and i love that prop you know yep. so maybe adding something that gives it like that little like you know date night come yep. with your husband or come with your family yeah and it's not just like come in for lunch and leave you know it's like come yeah. stay a while you know let's, let's chat get, let's chat let's get to know you you know, I want somebody to be like, I go there every Friday night, you know, that's been my restaurant for years. Like, I love that people can say that and yeah. I want to be able to keep that. Oh, that's so, a, yeah, no, that that's good. Mm -hmm. And 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 when like if somebody were to come in here, right, like and say, hey, this is my first time here. Like, what do you recommend? Like you come to Pasquale and it's like something that you must have yeah obviously the pizzas and you got slices which is a big thing because in Connecticut it's hard to find places that give slices right so like if somebody were to come in here and say listen I'm my first time people keep raving about this place what do you recommend for me like what would you tell them so we already said pizza but our special pie is the shrimp scampi that's Ooh. the one that you have to try you have to try a special pie you okay. get the cheese but also try a special pie and that is one of our special pies and um, a grinder. We love the eggplant parm or the meatball parm. You gotta try either or. Mm. If you're a grinder like lover, like definitely got because eggplant has been like a staple for Pasquale's pizza for years. Okay. And so we actually went back and asked them, how did you make the eggplant? Really? Because it was like a big thing here. Everybody was like, is the eggplant still the same? Is the eggplant still the same? So I was like, all right, we gotta find out what the secret was. Yeah. And they actually revealed it to us. So we got the eggplant, the Ooh. original eggplant still, you know, mm, so in the kitchen. So, so if you're here. into eggplant, let's go. Let's come go. over here and get this eggplant. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because we, I, I have a, um, my wife has a good friend that she, like, I don't even eat eggplant like that, but I'll eat her. She's Italian also, mm -hmm. and she makes the freaking bomb eggplant that yeah. is like so good. So um, that's good. So that that's a good thing to know. So when people come in here. At least some people who are watching the channel or whatever that they know if you're gonna come in here, ask for those things. Shrimp scampi, actually a, a quick little story too. My 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 stepdad always told me that back in the days, like to get a, a shrimp scampi like pie was really hard. He couldn't find it anywhere. In Puerto Rico, they used to do shrimp scampi um, uh, pies for for some reason in like their pizza shops out there. So for the fact that you highlighted a, a shrimp scampi pizza pie, that's I don't think everybody does it either, or they don't do it right. Right. You know. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's cool and and so what what do you what do you have like for the future like where do you see this in the future where do you see Pasquale like in the next year or two like um, um, as far as the the business community and and what you already have in place and where you want to take it to like wh where would you like to see it um, I would like to just see us like still serving our community. I would like to be giving back. I mean, we spoke about different ways that we can actually give back to like the community, like the students um, or just anybody that we feel, you know, could use it. Like we want to be able to not just sell pizza. We want to be able to give away to people like in need or find opportunities to, um, connect with people that, you know, like either a church or a nonprofit organization or some ways that we can just give back, you know, to the community yeah. in ways that people are hurting or suffering, you know, that we can donate, you know, our time. I like to volunteer in the community. I've oh, done that good. for years in Bridgeport with my local church. And I would like to do that, you know, I would like to keep that alive and like people yeah. know that, oh yeah, Pasquale is there in every, you know different event or any events going on yep. you know we would like to continue to support that oh that's you cool know, that's, what I, that's what i would really hope that we can do okay you know no and that sounds good because um um you like the community is what drives this right yeah so the community is is what's going to help push a lot of things right any brick and mortar spot depends or relies 
on the community, especially if the if the food is good, mm -hmm. but also the support that you get, which is hard sometimes. You know what I mean? Right. Like, do do you feel not now in the entrepreneurial aspect? Like, is it overwhelming? Like, like it's been only what like a couple of months, and do do you feel that you've accomplished a lot, or do you feel like? Wow, it's been only a couple of months and I'm, I'm feel behind. Like, do you feel like you're on, on time and stuff or you still think you're a little I bit behind? I still feel like I'm a little behind just because it's a big learning curve and just like, you know, little things like ordering from different distributors or gotcha. where do we get the best bread from, right? Like, we're getting our bread from the Bronx. Yeah. Um, let's go, Little Italy. Arthur Ave. Let's, you know, go. let's go. Arthur Avenue. Can't forget them. Yep. Um, so, you know, just learning like what's good quality food and what do we want to serve, right? Like, mm -hmm. you know, so Somebody called and wanted a chicken parm, but they wanted to know if it was frozen. And that's a valid question. Okay. You know, are you freezing it? Are you making it fresh? Like those little yeah. things matter. And so that's been a big um, learning curve too. Like how are we preparing our food and yeah. how are we serving it? And that we want to keep it fresh and you know, we yeah. want it to be just freshly made. You know, yeah. we can make our own pasta. That would be amazing. Um, yeah. uh, so that's what we want to keep doing for okay. the menu. That's, you know? that's good. Yeah. So so now like now to the entrepreneur who's watching this, mm. right? Like what would what type of like advice would you give them if they're wanting to go into something or or gravitate to something like you did? Like and in this case obviously it was it was something that was inherited it, but it still required a decision to like I'm gonna take this on, you know right, what I mean? Right. Like um like what type of advice or or like a nugget would you give to a person that maybe wants to start something, maybe a pizza shop or maybe said just something else, like what? I would say go for it. I mean, I never saw myself doing anything like this, even though I love food and I had a food blog growing up in college and that's what I did my senior project on. Um, I never thought that I would be the owner of you yeah. know, a business, never mind a restaurant. Or yeah. So I just feel that, you know, even with the fear, like just go, you know, just go and follow your dream. and. Um, take the opportunity, you know, I feel like there was a big part of me that it was an easy decision because it was in family and it was already established and so it's not just like we just opened the doors and it's our first day, right? Like this already had its community and had its following so that made it a lot easier but um, it was scary because we never did this before, right? So like, you know, but we didn't let that stop us. We said, you know, we could do this together and we've been learning from each other and, you know, it's and, and, and tell people you need help. You know, mm -hmm. people that are like, are, you know, your friends or family or people that you meet along the way. I've met so many people so far and that are willing to sit down and like teach you, like mm. just be teachable, right. you know? And really, you know, when you don't know something, like, you know, you have to spend time learning, I would say, because I've been spending a lot of time learning, whether it's technology, yeah. whether it's ordering, um, yeah. vendors, just like every yeah. day, you know, and there's been mistakes along the way, like we're all human, so it's wow. been, you know, a journey. Um, but the journey, every, life is a journey, right, you know, right, right. so just trust yourself, you know, I would say that there's been hard days and it's been, you know, sometimes discouraging, yep. like, did I make the right decision? Like, what am I doing? Yeah, yeah. You know, but um, at the end of the day, I feel like um, nothing is easy that you want to pursue sometimes, right? You have to choose your heart. I know yep. someone told me that before, like, you got to choose your heart. Yeah. And um, especially if you love it and, you know, it's in your heart and you want to see it succeed, like, it will. Yeah. You, know, you just got to give yourself time, patience, grace, yep. you know, and really be patient with the process. It's not going to happen overnight, right? We're not going to have, the, the doors are not flooded right yeah, now. Yep. We have a ton of people here, so we want to, you but know, you will, invite you will. people. And we know that we're going to get there, yep. you know? So we're just being positive and staying encouraged and, um, you know, just being more positive about, you know, what the future has to hold cool. for us. And, that's so good. Yeah. Yeah, good, good. And, and, and that's where we want to keep, you know what I mean? And that's why I like to highlight, you know, and the, the whole, this whole coffee break um, season this time around has been about celebrating people, right? And it's yeah. been about like recognizing entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. artists that are local, that are doing some cool stuff, but are hardly getting recognized. So we want to celebrate you, you know, um, you and, and, and um, um, what's his name again? Your husband and Christopher, you know, mm -hmm. for, 
for the job that you're doing, for what you were able to take on, you know, which has been challenging, but you guys chose to, to do it. And, and um, I know it's gonna do well, Thank but you. We, we celebrate you today, you know what I mean? And, and what you got going on. And hopefully we get more people involved to come in oh, and absolutely. enjoy and enjoy the pizza and stuff. I want to thank you for your time. Oh, thank you. For, for being here. Thank you for having great coffee here. If you don't know about this great coffee, check it out. It's, um, I'm, I'm glad to say it's, it's our own roast of, of, of coffee. You can grab it at greatcoffee.co. You can also follow um, Pasquale Pizza, right, on Instagram um, and Facebook and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can. So all this stuff, I'm going to have it in the description of, of this video. Um, and like every video that we do, never settle with being good when you have been meant to be great. Yeah. Later.